Hey, what is up you guys? Madvax Gaming here, and today is a very, very, very special day for me. We are finally here with Bendy in the Dark Revival! I am so excited to play this. My heart is pounding in my chest as we speak. This is only the title and it's already beautiful. I cannot wait to play this. I am so freaking excited. I've waited so long for this, I'm playing it on the PlayStation 4, so I had to wait later than everybody else, but we are here now, and I am ready to go. I think that's the Ink Demon's body. Alright. Let's just, we're just gonna jump on in. Let's just go. By the way, if you guys want to see me play the first one, the playlist is gonna be in the description, and all these videos will be added to that playlist as well. Anything bendy goes in that playlist. Let's go. New game! Uh, normal. Yeah, let's do normal. I've played this, I've played the first one before. I've never played this one, but let's just do normal. We're not going to go for easy. But I don't think I want to jump in hard just yet until I know what I'm after. We're always free to choose. To believe what we want to believe. But when you step back, when you really look at where you've been and the things you've done, your past will come to devour you. That was Joey's house. I recognize that from the end of the first one. She's so cute. There you go, little guy. And only 800 more frames to go. Oh no boy. Way I'm tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. Time for a little adventure. Here we go. Locate the elevator. All right. What do we got here? Oh, look at the pictures. There's a comic there, but I can't really see what it says. Escape. Oh, empl <laughs> escape. Employee of the month. And then that little picture there, that's adorable. I love it. All right. Let's see. She got a donut. Again, I can't really see what that says. Sensitivity is kinda high. That's a cute picture. Yeah, that sensitivity is really high. Can I turn it? Let's just turn it down a little bit here. Ooh, I can turn the vibration up? Heck yeah. Freaking scare the crap out of me. Let's go. She's so cute. Look at her. And then I can save game in there. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, that feels a little bit better to me.
This looks too, too real. It's like a real office instead of black and yellow. I don't like it. There's color in here and I don't like it. This is not natural. <laughs> that scared me just a little bit. Just a, just a little, little, little bit. But that's because I have a huge fear of thunderstorms in real life. So that got me. <gasps> is this? Oh, Nathan. Ar oh, Nathan. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, is this where I came from? No, this is a different office, I think. Is this something I can grab? No, I can't even go over there. Oh, I s Oh, okay. Anything? Nothing? I guess not. I know I recognize that name, Nathan Arch. Oh, he kind of looks like Cuphead. Wait, was that like the original Bendy sketch? You know what? I bet it was! Ah, I- Ah, I hate thunder. Is that him twerking? Bendy's twerking. I bet it was, because I remember in the Joey Drew um, biography book, his like little uh, dreams come to life. No, not dreams come to life. Uh, I can't think of what his biography is called, but I remember like him talking about how him and Henry had came up with the design, and he had like a bunch of clothing, and then they decided to take it off, and like just kind of went with the more simple really? look. Really, they locked me in. Good thing I brought my own key today. Oh no! Retrieve your office keys, and I can search again. Okay. Okay. That's obviously gonna come in handy at some point. Uncle Sal's Pizzeria. Mm, Uncle Sal's. Hmm. Who put this here? <laughs> oh my god, he's cute. Can I knock it over? I can't do anything with it. Oh, Alice. Alice is so cute. Look at that. Look at this one. That one is really cute. Aww. Yeah, Archgate Pictures. Yeah, I knew I recognized this name. Here's my office. Where do I keep my keys? Oh, here we go. Whew. Here's the key. Oh. Every time. That just makes me jolt, but I hate thunderstorms! I hate thunderstorms in game, I hate thunderstorms in real life, I hate them in movies. Ugh, I hate it. Especially in Minecraft. I thought Minecraft thunderstorms were brutal, but this one's even worse. Here we go. Not the most welcoming hallway I've ever seen. Mm, I've seen worse. You'll be fine. Is it Aubrey or Audrey? I forget my name already. It's locked. Oh, uh, it doesn't do the sound from the first one. No, the sound, the door Hello? sound more realistic. Is there? So I'm Audrey, not Aubrey. Audrey. Okay. This is so strange to me that when this game is in color, it should be in yellow and black. I, I just, I can't cope with it. That looks like ink. That does not look like clean water, that looks like ink. Alright, looks like we're taking the elevator. I don't know if I'd want to take the elevator considering the power has been going in and out from the thunderstorm, but... YOLO! I guess they don't have steps. Ding. 
Oh, good. There's auto save as well. Wow, there's a lot of floors. God, this game is beautiful already. We haven't even gotten to the actual like <laughs> uh, oh, studio. Oh, Wilson. The heck? You scared me to death. I'm sorry, my dear. Didn't mean to frighten you. You're working late tonight. A pretty girl like you shouldn't be wandering around all by yourself. Mind if I step in? Uh, of course not. Thank you. All I think she meant, of course not, you can't come in here. You look like you could use a little company. No. Is this just, like, a normal way this guy acts? Like, this isn't okay. Oh god, he's dying right next to me. So, it's been really nice this past week. Just beautiful. Mm hmm Gorgeous. Oh my god, no! You see how she crossed her arms around her that? waist? That means we don't like you we and we're uncomfortable. Don't you worry, my I said dear. this. I said this. It's just a little short in the system. I said this, we said I said we shouldn't go into an elevator in a thunderstorm. I said this. No need to fret. Let's see what we can find. Come along now. No. Old Wilson will protect you. Uh no. How about that? No. I don't wanna go. I'm gonna s I I said to take the steps, and I still want to take the- where are the steps? There's gotta be steps. This has to be- there has to be emergency steps. I don't want to talk to him. I have to talk to him? Apparently I have to talk to him. I don't want to do that. I don't like this man. Ah, uh, there we are. Just a few more switches to throw. Follow me. Oh it my god, it's Joey! Ugly. Safe. Ah! Do you get to see him young? Look at him! Oh my god. The man and the demon. The tr the you know, trophy. Statue's kind of creepy. Like, it kind of looks like Joey just covered in ink. Oh! I've seen this poster many a times. Okay, so Joey drew. Oh, so he died when he was 70. 1901 to 1971. Joey Drew was the founder of the studio and the man who created Bendy, one of the most beloved cartoon characters of all time. In 1929, with the help of his business partner, Henry Stein, he created Bendy's first short, Little Devil Darlin', as an early talkie cartoon. As his entertainment legacy drew over the years, Joey's optimism and pioneering spirit never wavered. Starting with just a pencil and a dream, he created the studio, and at Archgate Pictures, we strive to continue his dream and see Bendy live on. Dreams come true. Okay, so Archgate, I knew I recognized the name, so Archgate, it seems to have taken over for Joey, so they probably don't really know all the crazy tea. Aww. That looks so much like that Walt Disney cartoon. Which they probably... Or, not cartoon, but that Walt Disney picture. Which they probably did that on purpose. But that looks just like that one picture of Walt Disney. I love it. There's ink! Oh, here it is. The Illusion of Living. That's the book. Because it's a real book as well, and I've read it. That's the book I was talking about. Dreams Come True, that's the other one, which that's a really good one. And then there's the, uh, the other one, The Lost Ones. That's a really good book as well. But yeah, this was the one that's like his little biography that he wrote, and it was really good. I liked it a lot. Caution, wet floor. Yeah, the, there's like crud everywhere. Ooh, abstract art. I like it. Silly Vision is a cartoon format developed by Joey Drew that allowed for animated cartoons to be completed more efficiently by streaming the pencil. Oh. <laughs> streamlining the pencil and linking stages and allowing for the last minute adjustments to be made directly on the film stock itself. The film was chemically coated with an aloe. Oh, 
coded to allow for a specially formulated ink to be applied by an artist working on a magnifying table. This allowed for adjustments, action enchantments, or even whole new cartoon character or whole new characters to be added after the cartoon had been photographed. Mr. Drew intended for the format to be used someday to be created interactive experiences where the cartoons could be custom altered to fit the occasion for the audience. Cool. Uh oh, it's little unfortunately it's so dark, but it's little sequences of a cartoon. That's cute. That's really cute. Go away. Boris! Boris! Look at your Boris! I love you! You're so chubby! Bendy sing along! I want a Bendy sing along record and I want a chubby Boris! There's some more pictures. Oh my god! Which one's Henry? Oh! <gasps> T! Which one's Henry and which one's Buddy? Well, if Henry's in it, Buddy wouldn't be in it yet. But Buddy, Buddy's from the books. And he is in the games as well. You just don't realize it until you read the books. Just a pencil and a dream. Oh, look at the little Bendy. I feel like I've seen a picture like that of Walt Disney as well. But just like recreating Walt Disney's photos. Look at the tickets. Oh. This is giving me security breach vibes. I did the same thing where I looked in all the cases and got excited. <gasps> it's Boris's banjo. Yes. The Butcher Gang. Dancing Demon. We've seen all these in, in the first game. All those pictures. What does this say? Oh, it's an en the end. Aw. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. No. That seems to be it. Alright. I gotta go talk to Creepy Creeperton. That looks like an ink machine. Um. No. 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 That looks like an ink machine. And I know what's gonna happen. This actually. This. This is literally. This is literally the thing. These are the stands where you put those goodies you found. Yes. Yep. There. That's that. You, yep. And the toy. You set the things on it, and then you open the door to the ink machine, and then that's when all hell broke loose. So no, you and your one eye can just do it yourself. I'm no, no. I already know what's going on. Fine. Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. There should be something on each of these pedestals. I know. Audrey. Sweet Audrey. Jesus Christ. Do an old man a favor and go find them. I'll tend to the power. Is your eye missing because someone maced you? Asking for a friend. Did they have pepper spray in the 30s? Because if they did, that's what happened to his eye. I guarantee it. So I can take this. Come on, girl. That was the wrench that was in Boris's chest in the first one. Uh, where does the wrench go? There we go. It's hard to see. It's dark in here. <laughs> I just slap it there. Whatever. All right, okay. We need a record. Got that. We need a plushie. Got that, aw. That's a big plushie, aw. Before it was like one of those little figurines that squeaked. All right, that's that. We need ink. face. Please don't look at me like that, sir. We need a gear. Which I thought I saw a gear somewhere. Before. There should be should be a gear. But maybe not. I thought I saw a gearbox, but I could be wrong. Oh! I knew it.
There's so much more detail just in like grabbing stuff. Alright. The gear. I'm trying to. M oh, the book! That's right, the book is the last one. I gotta go get his book. I'm just trying to remember it from just from the first game. There's music. You already. I already know what's gonna happen. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Well, that's because I'm not Henry. Audrey, listen to me. I already know what's gonna happen. I know you don't know, but Henry and I know. We know the T. I gotta get his book. She just looked at it so, like, thoughtfully. Here we go. You already know. Plop. Hey, I got a trophy! The ritual! Only one thing left to do. Pull that switch. Of course, because I already know what's gonna happen! It We're not turning done. on the power. Wilson? Oh, Audrey. The things you've set in motion. Uh, the is calling us, my dear. Can't you hear it? What? Shh. Don't fret. We're going home. Stay back. Listen to me, Audrey. Pay attention to these last words. Okay. Because very soon, you will forget everything. Let go! Come find me, Audrey. Come find me, and I'll show you your purpose. Uh, I'll no. I'll show you the truth. This can't be real. And now, we die. What are you doing? Oh, no. No! I told you not to put that on there. I told her, like, many times not to put those on the pedestal, because I knew what was going to happen. Bruh, why am I crying in the club right now? This is- I'm so excited! I'm so emotional! I've waited so long for this. Ah, <sighs> beautiful. I'm so freaking excited. That's much better. trying to see if I could look at myself, but I can't. Somebody's crying. So I came down from inside this pipe, it seems? Even, like, the yellow is, like, it's not as yellow now. It's, like, this, like, crisp brown. Like a sepia. Okay, we're missing pipes. So Wilson knows our purpose. The man who killed the ink demon. Interesting. Let's pick this up. Every great story begins in mystery, although many things, although things may be dark at the start, the truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are. Fear only what you may become and banish it away. Your best pal. I don't think we're friends. 
I'm gonna take a wild guess and say we're not friends and we're never gonna be. Alright, somebody's having an even worse day than I am, it sounds like. Oh, I can jump now. Alright. Welcome home. This ain't my home. Alright, can I not walk? Or do I have to, like, jump? Hmm. I'm missing pipes. Where do I find pipes? Oh. <gasps> Soap! Please inform Mr. Drew that despite his insistence that the rumors of Joey Drew Studios are going bankrupt are un true, I want to remind him that if his studio does indeed fail, all equipment and experiments pr produced through our partnership by contract belong to the Jet Corporation. We will reclaim these assets forcibly if necessary. Alan Gray, CEO. Okay, well, you see the name Gent everywhere in the game, so that makes sense. Can I not pick up the soup? You don't pick up the soup this time! Oh my god, I can't pick up the soup this time! What the heck is this? I want the soup! Do I go over here now? No. Okay. I can't walk any farther. Yeah, I can't. Hmm. Oh, I can search the drawers. Oh, okay. So my one hand is like animated. Look at my skinny fingers. And then my other hand just looks like a normal hand. That's pretty cool. So the ink hasn't fully absorbed me, which is strange because it usually claims you right away. So there's something special about her. Oh boy. Jeez, you'd think I was drowning kittens the way these people are looking at me. <laughs> what? I've never seen such disappointment in a person's eye. But this is the way of things. If management can't pay their bills, then the bank tanks the goodies back. Still, it doesn't break me a bit knowing how much I love them old cartoons this place used to make. Oh well, times change, life moves on. Telly Wester. I don't know the name Telly. That's a new one for me. A music box? Angel song. I'm Alice Angel. That's so cute. Oh, so pretty. R3 to crouch. Okay. Why is it making that sound? Hi, Your Wilson. Friend. You're not Your my friend. Protector. You're not my protector. For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. I banished him away, tore his body in two. In return, I ask just a little favor. Among you, there is a stranger, a young lady. Bring her to me. There's another young lady here? Besides me? Oh boy. Well, you know there's a problem when you have a hide a box. It's not that the the toilet no more. It's just the locker. No. 
Oh, this one's from Sammy. Joey, Jack and I have been wondering if you could meet us considering the current situation. We have been with you for many years and we feel we have contributed to the success of the Bendy of Bendy in the past. Our interest is pure our interest is purely in keeping this company strong. We just want to help however we can. Let's talk, Sammy Lawrence. Sammy! Sammy baby. Search. I found a gent box. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Inquiry. The ink drips. Darkness has spread through the studio. The reaching shadows creep around you. Something hungers for your corrupted flesh. It is close, very close. It strains to grab you, choke you from behind. You feel its breath upon your neck. It is close. Cool! That's awesome! There's nothing in there. Oh. oh my god, no! It's a freaking butcher gang dude! What happened to you, buddy? What happened? Poor guy. Why can I not pick up soup cans anymore? Ah, <gasps> yay! I just received the call. Joey Drew is dead. What a quiet end to an extraordinary life. Last I heard, he was staying in some cramped apartment downtown. You could practically hear the rats through the telephone when he called me last April. Mm. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? Found a baseball. Memories are stored in the pause menu. Oh, so these are all the letters I found. That's the tape I found. Baseball. A baseball signed by the legendary Bud Lewis. This would make an exciting gift for any young baseball fan. Bud Lewis. Ooh, look at me now. I look cool. I gotta climb that? That does not seem safe at all. There's actually a window. Security override. Let's just pull this and see what it does. Hold L1 to run? Why do I need to run? What? Why do I need to- why am I running? What's the- what's- why do I have to run? I don't like that. Tasty eats. 
Why does it want me to run? Little Miracle Station. I remember this place well. Oh, nice. You broke it. Aw, out of order! You pull that always on time. Aw, butcher gang, cool. It definitely looks a little different now, but... Oh, oh god, what do I do? Oh, so this is why I'm running, I guess. Run and hide! Run and hide! Ah. Get in! We can grab the soap! We can grab the soap and ham and donuts! Yes! I want some soap! I wouldn't drink too much of that if I were you. It helps patch you Allie! Up. But the aftertaste... It's not so good. Easy now, I'm not gonna hurt you. It looked like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary. But you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs and they tend to swarm. Mm -hmm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. Uh, Tom! Wolf? Like I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. I hope we meet again. Oh, and one more thing. Above everything else, stay away from the ink demon. What's an ink demon? Not well, dead, apparently. He likes to smile, and he kills anything that moves. Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey, welcome to the studio. Yeah, in the book, her name is actually Allie. Welcome to the studio trophy, nice. Her name is Allie in real life. Um, but she doesn't remember, because it, it's cool, like she kind of like says like in the first game she says like they call me Alice like and I don't know of anything else but like that actually is her real name like 
she was the second one to voice Alice Angel. And her husband was Tom, who's Tom Wolf. Around here, it's best to stay out of sight. Don't ever go running into some place if you don't know what's in there. If you attack a problem head on, you're going to find yourself in trouble. That's just foolish. You gotta watch, listen, and then when the time is right, push forward. Your best pal. All right. Well, I think I'm going to leave this episode here so that way it is not too long, but there's going to be plenty more episodes coming. This seems like it's a very awesome game, and I'm really excited to see what else we have in store. We've already found a couple collectibles. You know we're going to try to find everything if possible and all that jazz. But yeah, this game seems amazing already, and I am very excited to keep it going. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the likes, comments, subscriptions, support. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time it is. I hope it's freaking fantastic. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Oh, and if it's your birthday, happy freaking birthday. So long, space cadets.